We are back into the Kenyan wilderness after literally not going on a safari for months. It has been a while. Um, but we're not going to tell you what national park we're in yet. We're going to leave that you won't the believe end. it. <laughs> but we are currently at Olulu Safari Lodge. So we're gonna start you off with our room tour. And one of the unique features of this room, called the tower room, is the fact that we have this balcony up here on the top. So let's go in, I'll show you around, because we also have a second balcony. Yeah. Okay, I wanna start off by saying there are multiple different types of rooms on this property. Um, but like I said, we have the tower room and I think it is super cute. So right now I'm actually standing at like the top of the entrance from outside. But you come inside and look at this cute little seating area. I love the aesthetic and the decor of this place. And then we have our bed. And then a little drink cart, which should we have our filtered water and everything on. Into the bathroom. We actually have a double sink, which I didn't expect to have in here. Oh, yeah, hi. Um, and then we have a, a really spacious shower as well. So. I think it's beautiful and gorgeous, but there is one more aspect that I haven't shown you. The balcony with a beautiful view. gonna show you guys a little bit more about this place tomorrow but like just look around it is stunning such a beautiful lodge so before going on a game drive had to stop in for a coffee really good Americano by the way um, and a date cake it looks fantastic taste test mm -hmm. when we sat down and Tracy ordered her coffee she was like would you like dessert with that Tracy was like yeah that's good cake. <laughs> So meet George. George is gonna be our safari guide and I like this guy already. You know what? Because he's on Land Rover and that, that means the world to me. No Land Cruiser, no, no. We are in the Land Rover. He's a big fan, I'm a big fan. We're gonna be best friend. Also, like he's been here since day one of uh, of the lodge. So he's kind of an expert around here, aren't you? Sure, yes. <laughs> yes. Land Rovers are the best. Yes, they are. Better than Toyotas. Oh, yes. <laughs> From the man himself. Exactly. So we just found a couple lions um, and they just are kind of sitting beside the kill. Basically because of the drought, they're able to eat a lot because the buffaloes are pretty weak, so it makes it a little bit easier for them to catch their food. Thank you, George. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Yes. Perfect. I saw something on the bridge and I wasn't sure what it was, and there was a ton of baboons there. Food we stepped on it, they scattered though. Zebras, giraffe, buffaloes, hippos, crocs, and a bunch of lions? I would say that was a successful game drive. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hi, buddy. So now it's time to wind down for the night, maybe grab a glass of wine as the sun sets, and find a good spot to sit. Where you wanna go, I am all about adventure times. Another drink and I'll go anywhere the way you smile Like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind all the woogles who and stage dives
good morning. Let me start by saying that yesterday's dinner was fantastic. Yeah, we kind of went right to bed yesterday. We were yeah. a little tired. Um, it was amazing. Yeah. The food is just so fresh here, but you'll see that later. Yeah. Uh, special mention to the duvet uh, on the bed. Fantastic, very comfy. Yeah. And otherwise, well, it's 6 a.m. We're going on game drive. Guys, we just found a herd of safari trucks. No joke, there's probably over a hundred safari trucks in there. Whoa. Yeah, I do. All that for a couple sleeping lions. This bird is called the hammer con, and it's one of the largest nest builder in the animal kingdom. It probably weighs about like two pounds, but literally currently building his own mansion in that tree there. So welcome to breakfast. We start off with a little buffet for like your fruit, your yogurt, granola, that type of thing. And then we actually have a menu to order from for main. So I'm excited to see what's on the menu. So remember this morning when we had our eggs, our yogurt, had milk and a coffee. This actually comes from a Lulu farm. So yes, there's a Lulu lodge and safaris, but there's also a Lulu farm as well. You start on this side, you have a huge shamba that they're actually growing their lettuce and everything there that they can use fresh. You have over on this side, you have ducks that you kind of use that for meat and any other products from them. You have some cows behind us. So that's why I was saying yogurt. They make their own yogurt. They have their own milk. And then over in the back corner, is actually where they have their chickens. So the eggs and yes, fresh chicken as well. So talking about chicken, they have over 2000 chickens on site and that is way too many chicken breasts and eggs for this little camp. So they're actually selling their product, their chicken product on Greenspoon. And apparently we've been eating eggs from here for a while and we didn't even know about it. Didn't think you were gonna pet a chick today, did you? <laughs> So now that we have our bellies full, let me show you some of the different accommodations here actually on Alulu Lodge. So now, this way, <laughs> you're actually seeing the stables. So the previous owner had a lot of horses. So this actually was a horse stable and at the end was kind of like where they kept their hay and everything like that. So when these owners bought the property, they repurposed it and now there are seven rooms in the stables with the end one being a three bedroom. So another type of accommodation is actually their tented cottages and there's actually three of them. So behind us is number two that you see. So back down to the front of the lodge, up here you have tower, that's where we're staying. And on this side is terrace. And these two are just two different unique suites here on property. And then lastly, on the other side of the lodge, you have a family suite. Basically, that just gives the kids more room to run around inside. So this chicken is actually from their farm right here. And these patties are actually made by one of the owners by hand. So I'm very excited to try this out. They're apparently calling him the Burger King around here. 
Um, I forgot to say how my burger was because I already ate half of it. So clearly it was really good. <laughs> no, it is very good. Literally all the food we've been having since yesterday has been delicious. Like from the salad to the vegetables, the meat, like it is fantastic. A true like farm to table experience. And we finished that up with a mango sorbet because mangoes are in season right now. Time to go on an afternoon game drive. Um, and also, plus, they do iced coffee here. And like, with a straw and like a lid, so I can take it on my drive, I'm happy. Tracy couldn't walk backwards on the, on the bridge, so it's a little uh, wobbly. So one comment that we get actually pretty often is about people not wanting to be an open vehicle because they think that the lions are gonna attack them or something like that. Well, I'm happy to tell you that at Ololo, they have both types of cars, so. If you prefer those uh, Land Cruiser, well, you can get a Land Cruiser. If there was an award for the worst mother in the animal kingdom, it would go to giraffes. Like, this poor baby is just in the middle of the open, just waiting for mommy to come back, hopefully before dark. Doesn't seem to mind, just chewing the day away. I feel like you guys should know by now, but any guess on like where this camp is? What oh, yeah, national park? I'm still not gonna tell you, but I feel like within the, the footage of safaris, I gave you a lot of clues. Yes. So, let us know if you know in the comment down below. Now we're gonna go for a little sundowner. For enjoying uh, my nice little glass of wine, maybe a fire actually. Gonna have to go change. We're taking some photos by the pool and uh, I got wet a little. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that So to say the least, another very good meal. Amazing. Once again, chicken for me, straight from the farm. The Yours was had, super good it as just well. Fell right apart. The food here is quite unique. Good night. Good morning. We slept very well. Very, very well. <laughs> and this morning we enjoyed a beautiful sunrise with two Iraxes for some reason. <laughs> We're just looking at the sunrise on top of us, on the on the top of the house or whatever. Very cute. Yeah. We were even, uh, even able to see like some giraffes and buffaloes from our balconies. Mm. So that's pretty nice. Now we're gonna go for breakfast. So coming out of our room, there's actually like a shared family space in here. When you come in, you even have a fireplace, which is fantastic. Just lots of like living area, especially if you had kids is great. And um, there's like a, what I would consider like a reading corner down there and there's a projector there. I'm pretty sure you could watch movies. But what I love in the back, there's actually a wine cellar, like a true wine cellar that keeps the wine cold and that's where they store everything there. So then you come through on the other side and it brings you to the main area, I would say. So the pool's actually right in front of us and this is the reception and bar area. And I need a coffee because I'm surprised I was able to film that without caffeine yet. So let's go get a coffee. So in the reception and bar area, bar right behind me, I got my coffee. I'm happy Tracy again. <laughs> 
And then over here we have the reception. So this is kind of like where you check in when you first arrive. We have the breakfast buffet starting to get set up here for breakfast, obviously. And we're gonna go sit down by the pool. That's where they normally serve it and eat because I'm getting a little hungry. Thank you very much. So for breakfast, we have what they call a mini muffin with cheese and bacon and like a perfectly cooked egg straight from the farm. Mm. It was so good. Mm -hmm. So as we sit here and eat our breakfast, um, we'll give you kind of like our traditional thoughts of what we think. Um, it's great. <laughs> hey, we didn't tell them where we are. Okay, so most of you probably know if you're Kenyan. Uh, we're in Nairobi National. So here's my thought. This place is absolutely fantastic, especially the food. Mm -hmm. And they have some other options that if you're in Nairobi National for the day or if you want to just do a day trip, you can actually do a lunch here as well. It just needs to be pre-arranged. So sometimes Nairobi National Park does have a bad reputation. It's not very far from the city. Sometimes you can see the building at a distance with like a giraffe in between <laughs> you and those buildings. Uh, it can be crowded in the weekends and yeah. things like that. That being said... Yeah, so I think Nairobi National Park still has its purpose and that's if you're here for a short time or if you're doing a stopover, if you're here for work or something and can't leave the city, this is a perfect option for you. Yeah because this lodge will give you the same experience yes. as you would get in Mbiseli, Tsavo or, or the Masai Mara, but like literally like 20 something minutes from the downtown exactly. Nairobi area. Mainly for me is there's no elephants here. So that's why like if you are here for longer, I do recommend trying to get out of the city so you can Find see a place elephants. where they have elephants. Oh, brain fart, Shelter Trust is in here with yeah, the elephants. That's true. And um, that's something you can arrange with them. So there you go. Yeah, you, you can see them. There you the, go. <laughs> you solve the elephant see them issue. All. <laughs> but otherwise they have everything from lions to lepers mm -hmm. to jackals and hyenas. Like they're they're mm -hmm. they're all here. Even rhinos. Like it's probably one of the that's best true. place in the country to see rhinos. Because they're, they're, they're just out in the open. They're around. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. We're gonna finish our breakfast, mm -hmm. go well, back home, done. which is only like a few minutes away, which I like. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, see you guys in the next one.